All right, I am so glad to be able to be back with you in Daydreams. There's the ISBN. If you've been following along, this is the twofold that I showed you last time. If you missed that, you can go back and catch it. It's on my channel. And I was talking about how I'm using all the colors on this page on this page. So the last, uh, yes, I've still got to finish the blue, but the last thing I had done was these purples. So I am going to come in and I am going to do this jelly in the same purples so that I am repeating from one page to the next. Now, the colors I have pulled because I used them on the opposite page in Arteza pencils, number 109 and it's lavender so a light purple or a light shade of three shades or even two shades if that's what you're working with then I grabbed from my castle arts deep mauve number 90 that's my middle shade and then my dark shade castle arts mulberry number 39 so I have my pencils in order, light to dark. Don't trust the barrels. They don't always show what color the pencil really is. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to start with my lightest up here at the top. That's where my light source is. More likely than not is coming from up at the top of the water and coming down. Now, because this jelly is overlapping this one, I'm going to go lighter there. The reason for the lighter here is so that I can put a darker shade next to it or over the top to help leave that jelly a shadow. Okay, and then here I will go darker. I'm getting that first good layer of color on. And I'm really gonna get two colors on the top of the jellyfish and then probably two to three on this underside and you'll see that as I get going along I really do like these books they lay open I can get almost all the way to the center the pages are nice and thick I enjoy the pictures that Hannah has done in these books. I'm going to go ahead and get just a little bit of this color in there so that whenever I go over it, it's easier to blend. But notice, now I can't hold very far back on this pencil because it is getting shorter, but I'm not way up here bearing down on it. I am back some because I am heavy handed and I don't want to go real dark on there. I just want enough that the color is on the page. Okay. And I have a little plastic sheeting underneath and I actually move that out of the way for that inside edge so I don't get a line where it comes to. There we go, move it back in. Actually, the paper in this book's thick enough, I think I'm just gonna leave it out. It's just a plastic cutting board from the Dollar Tree. Okay, changing over to my second pencil. So whatever your second shade is, and we already said we knew we wanted to go darker right next to the other jelly. So see, I am holding closer now. I'm not way back here. I'm holding up here closer 
because I don't have the patience to do like 10 or 12 layers of pencil. So I pretty well get it all in there after just a few passes. Okay, try it. now I'm going to go back some, trying to keep my hand out from the camera. And then, do you see the little loops hanging down? That's from this jelly. I've got to decide, are those just loops or are they solid pieces? Because if they are solid pieces, then that means inside those little loops get something that's going to coordinate with that yellow jelly. If they're just little loops hanging down, then that means the insides need to be my darkest purple because it's what's showing through. And yeah, I'll clean some of this up. I always go outside the lines. Well, not always, always, but a lot. I'm not claiming to be the neatest colorist, but I do enjoy what I do. Okay, so now I'm coming along underneath. Let me come this direction. Maybe that'll help you. It just always bugs me when I can't see if I'm watching a video of somebody's scrapbook or whatever it is, and I can't see what they're doing because it's an overhead and their head gets in the way, or if their hands are in the way and I can't see what they're doing. So that's why I really try to stay out of the way when I'm coloring. But it can be kind of hard. Sometimes it's weird angles for me. Just coming in here, blending that out some. Take that off the edge. I actually set a timer before I sat down. And now I'm thinking, did I bother to turn it on? No, I did not. <laughs> All right, that's just me. It's all set up over there on my phone, just sitting. It's all right, you know me, if it cuts off and there's something important, I'm just going to put a part two real quick and let them both go at the same time. I've been known to do that. Post one and then 15 minutes later post the next one. You'll be surprised. Guess what crazy Pam did? Oh well. All right. Yeah, I know sometimes I think, oh, this is boring. You're just watching me color. But um, I don't know. I like you to really see real time. And if I mess up, I'm one of those people that's more, more than likely going to show you that I messed up. So, all right. I have decided that on these little loops, they are going to be things that are hanging down. I'm probably going to do them with a gold gel pen because of this being yellow. So I'm going to come back in these and do these a darker, darker yellow. So my third shade of purple is going to go right in the very edge of this and in those little areas. See what I did? Yeah, just right there. Then also in all of these little areas. 
right, what I'm doing, try this way because I can't tell. I don't have a camera that lets me see what I'm doing unless I stand up and look down. I'm actually using a tablet. Um, my phone has got an awesome camera on it, but as far as video, it just doesn't let me do as much as I'd like to. Okay, so then I'm going to come back with the first color, and I'm going to blend. This is where I really put the pressure on. And blend those colors. And if it's shaking, I'm sorry. It's the desk wobbling. Now I've shown you this before. You can take your finger and put it right up to the edge. Okay? And then when you're coloring, hit your finger. Keeps you from going outside the lines. And I didn't have to stop and do this. You know, I could just take it and just go for it. Just put my finger there and I hit it instead of going outside the lines. Okay? So I would go through and do that with all this. Okay? So next, I am going to take and I'm going to put a little bit of this lightest shade right here. Okay, got that in there. There's not another really big area. If this went all the way over, I would probably do some there too. Next, my middle shade. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to blend it into it. Just blend that right in there into it. Okay, come over here, get across that blend up into it. Now, do you see how there's more dots here and across the top? That's because the artist is letting us know that that is where more of your shadows are. So I'm not going to go all the way up in there. Actually, I will, but I'm going to go very light very lightly and then this is going to come through here and then all the way up but lighter same on all of this lighter as I'm up in here lighter because that way I can go over it with my darker pencil if you go heavy through the whole thing and you've used up all the tooth in your paper, then your paper is not going to accept the next color of pencil and you're just going to be stuck. And you see me stopping. I'm looking to see, okay, what's background and what's other stuff. Okay, that, that, that is all background. I marked those so I don't have to stop and examine it again later, but I will do those areas with the same color that I'm going to come across the top. Same for this. It just reminds me to come back and hit that with the darker shade. With that, I think it's mulberry that I'm using, just to come back and use that. Yeah, I sit in a rocking recliner and pull one leg up in front of me and then prop my pencils over on the armchair. And that's how I sit in color a lot of times if I'm in the living room watching TV. It's just comfortable for me. I figure at 60, what am I, 61 now? I can still pull a leg up in color. I'm doing all right. <laughs> Okay, darkest shade, and this was the mulberry. 
So I already said I was going to hit this with the darkest because that's way down there in the back on the bottom. It's got all this other stuff floating in front of it. So it would stand to reason it's further back there. It's going to be darker. See how coloring that? Just that little bit in the dark just pushed it, pushed it back into the back recesses. It's like if you were going into a cave that is further back in there. So let's go ahead and do all the bits that are further back. If you will get used to doing certain things first when you're doing a picture, like I'm going across here doing all the bottom, you'll find it's a lot less likely that you're going to actually miss something because you've got a color order that you're working in. See, like I normally would have hit this with that other color to have reminded me that it was back there also. Just a little bit on this edge. Okay, and then I'm going to come over. And I'm going to get this side with the darker color. Okay, just blend that in. You can do it. There is no race now. I'm wondering, is that little piece right there, the back, but then I see this piece coming over, and if I follow up, it's going to be there. So I'm going to assume that that is part of one of the little bits that floats around. Okay, and then lighter so it blends. Let's see, what about that one and that? Um, nope, I'm going to say that's part of that. Let's skip over to here. I do like these castle art pencils. I like these. I like Color Ya. Um, I like my Marco Renoirs. Sometimes for me, the Prismacolors are just too waxy. I get that build up and I don't like that. Um, I do like my Crayola pencils. There are certain papers that they don't play well with. They just don't play nice. But I do like the pencils. When you're working on a page, and I did have the problem with this book when I was doing the blue, and I failed to mention this in the last video, so if you've hung out with me through this whole video, maybe that's one of the reasons. You get to hear the extra little bits. Whenever I'm coloring, and my pencil just suddenly starts like gumming. Does that make sense? It gets a little gummy sometimes. It's because the pencil has warmed up with friction and is literally, the wax is literally melting. And sometimes I just have to put my pencils down and let them rest. Sometimes it's just the best thing you can do is let those pencils get a little rest. Just long enough they'll set back up and not be so warm. And I get that mainly when I'm doing a large area, when I'm doing a big background, something like that. Just doing something like this, I'm generally okay. But um, it does happen, so just FYI on that. If you ever get to where you feel like your pencil is just melting and you're not really getting good blend but little clumpy looking things rest your pencil even five minutes just work on something else and see if that helps you out some 
coming back with my lightest shade and going to go ahead and blend with it, even though I didn't use it in here before. Because it is used in here, it's okay to use it to blend. I'm going to get all that white, get all that white off my page. Get rid of that tooth. Some of this still just doesn't look well blended to me. And I'm feeling it like I need to come back to color number two and go back into color number one some. So let's try that. So my second shade, and I'm going to come in and just lightly blend up. Just blend across there. Kind of like what we did with the background earlier. There we go. Come back with my first shade and just blend that out a little bit. Just keep blending at it. It's going to get there. Okay, I need to know in the comments, what would you like to see colored? Is there something specific? It can be this book, it can be another book. Um, maybe I have something in one of my other books that's close to what you would like to see. Let me know. There, that's a whole lot better. Okay, so that's it for... For this one again just blending and blending and blending um, just keep blending but now the purple that I used over here is used over here okay so yeah let me know comments I read them I really do y'all thanks for stopping by and I will see you back in a few days bye